y'all today is a really exciting video you all really seem to enjoy my everything i crochet in 2023 video so today i'm doing a everything i want to crochet in 2024 and it'll be nice to reflect and see if i made anything that i talk about in this video so without further ado let's get started that that was not sorry i'm going on my pinterest i'm not going in any particular order i probably should so it's more organized like hats i want to make bags i want to make i don't i think that takes the fun out of it so let me just show y'all i'll put the pictures on the screen if you don't follow me on pinterest my pinterest is noble samadhi same like my tiktok instagram and youtube um and i have a folder called flower girl which is just a bunch of crochet stuff i want to do whether it's patterns or just inspiration so if you want to follow me on there you can and then follow me on instagram while you at it because me i don't know just do it please <laughs> it looked like i bought my followers because my engagement is just bad but that's besides the point okie dokie let's get into it so the very first thing i want to make which is something i've been wanting to make since the beginning of my crochet journey is this cute tote bag and it's basically like a i wouldn't say a granny square but it's just like a continuous cycle of like clusters and i want to make one because i love tote bags and most of the time like when i'm going to school i'm rocking a tote bag but i want to rock something i made and it's been taking me a while to like make something like that but i really want to make it and this one's so cute I used to have an obsession with just making hats, but I really don't wear a hat, so it's kind of like a waste of time in my opinion. So I want to make stuff that I'm actually going to wear. Next thing I want to make is a crochet hair bandana. At many of my pop-ups, people will ask, like, do you know how to make one of those? Like, will you ever make one? <laughs> I'm sorry. It never piqued my curiosity, but then I saw more pictures of like girls wearing it with braids and I see all the different designs like this one's a dragonfly and they're just so cute and I'm like, you know what? I want to make one and I will make one and I will have a tutorial for one, okay? So stay tuned. Next thing I want to make, which will actually be a very easy project. It's not crochet. It's actually using my central machine, but I want to make a like really long knit maxi dress and I want it to have like summery colors. I just think it looks so cute and this one I'm looking at, it's like layers of color and i don't know if that's what the yarn is or if they use like different shades of yarn but it's so cute and classy and it just gives grown woman vibes and i'm about to turn 20 and not that i'm saying i'm grown but like i just want to wear things that look more like me coming into adulthood and womanhood and this is one of those pieces next thing i want to make is this like yarn canopy because i have loads of yarn like this is some of it but this isn't even like a fourth of it so i really want something i could put up in the corner of my room and just like have so when i get that random inspiration at two o'clock in the morning i can just grab from it and boom and it's just so cute it looks convenient and it looks really easy to make it's probably just a square of like just literally a square and then you just pin it up the way you want so it will be an easy project but i just have to bring myself to make it next thing i want to make is a crochet do rag i saw a girl on tiktok i believe make one and i thought that was so dope like that's something that would have went up in like 2019 but i don't really wear do rags but just for the just for the culture like just for the one time one time i want to make a crochet do rag if you have braids it's just gonna eat like it's just gonna look good so something like that would be really chef's kiss next thing i want to make is this granny square top it's a very summery top oh my gosh it's so cute like i could make this i need to make this because the colors for one they're warm tone it's colors i would actually wear and it's not like super bright because i have a lot of bright yarn like look at look at all these bright bright color yarns like i don't know why i do that to myself because i don't wear the colorful stuff i make but i just like like to bring out my inner child when i'm creating stuff so i'm like ooh, let's do this bright pink and this bright blue but then I never wear it, so it's just like wasting my time. But my name is written all over this, and I want to make this, and I should do a tutorial on this. Oh yeah, if you see anything you're like noble, you have to make that like right now, and you have to do a tutorial. Harass me in the comments. Literally, blow my comments up. Like, girl, we need a tutorial on this, that, that. Like, I'll do it. Next thing I want to make, which I actually was working on. I'm literally looking at the project I was working on. Let me just show you. I was working on a vest, and it was gonna be like this super detailed cluster vest and it was like gonna be kind of on the shorter side but i never finished it and i don't know why but i really want to make a crochet vest because a lot of the stuff i wear is very simple but if you add a vest onto it it's just kind of like 
chef's kiss and i need to make a vest like i need to a lot of these are like granny square but i really like the way the one i'm making is going like it's more so something that doesn't look super crochet because sometimes things look super crochet -y and you're just like eh. i mean there's nothing wrong with crochet but you get what i mean like some things you just want to look like you could have got it at the store because people don't really like <sighs> i don't know what i was talking about but sometimes I just want to wear things that look very simple, you know? Next thing I want to make, and I started it, but I never finished, is Granny Square Crochet Pants. They're going to take a long time, but I really want a pair. Like, I want a pair by the summertime so I can, like, swag up with my pants. But it's just the time commitment. I'm like, do I really want to spend that much time? Because I'm going to need over, like, 40 squares in those squares can be so irritating sometimes like if you want out of yarn and then you have to not another like it's just it's just stressful so i'm like i don't know like i want them but eh, i don't know okay next project i want to finish i should say because i've started on this but i want to finish it is the hexagon cardigan and let me show y'all this is what i was working on in my um things i wish i knew before i started crocheting video and this is one half of it but i'm doing something wrong because I've been doing rows and rows of it, but like the sleeve part is still like flooded. Like that's not, that's not the vibe. So I'm going to figure out what I can do at the end to kind of like, I guess, cinch it in. That doesn't look good though. So I don't know. I'm kind of stuck. I'm like, did I mess up? Should I frog it? But this is literally days of work because I used the wrong size needle. I used a needle size that was too small for this project. So I like tripled. The amount of time I have to spend making this so this is just one sleeve and this took me over a week <laughs> to make so I really want to finish this project because one I can see myself wearing this like so many times because it's more neutral tone and I just really I need to see myself finish a big project because this this deserves love I'm not sure if this sweater is like I don't know I, I've always seen this sweater I don't know the exact brand but I want to recreate it because it's so cute and it reminds me of my inner child like this is totally something I would have worn in elementary school and I could see myself wearing it now it's super groovy it's super colorful like and I've seen so many people wearing it but I can't put my finger on where it's from but it's just so cute like it's so cute and I could just see myself doing a different colorway like I said in my video you don't want to copy a pattern or a design and it belongs to someone like because it's just not right like you wouldn't want it done to yourself so i just want to make stuff that looks similar but it's not exactly to a t you know like a recreation of it next thing i'm kind of on the fence about this but because i have so much like colorful yarn and yarn i'm not using i want to make a scrap scrap pair of crochet pants and i want them to flare out at the bottom but these here are so cute i feel like it's a summer like a summer statement piece it's so cute it's a great way to get rid of yarn you're not using or just like scraps of yarn i made a scrap beanie let me show y'all that one actually this is the scrap beanie one and i feel like each side has this different vibe like this one's more like okay darker tones this one's more bright so you can wear it on either side and i freaking love this i love this beanie and then this one i really was in my cat beanie phase so this one is like a granny square cat beanie and then this one's just a regular you know standard green cat beanie as well and these are so cute these are like one of the few hats i actually kept i'm hosting a giveaway and my deadline is for march 29th but i'm thinking of extending it just to give more people time to apply because i didn't really promote it but i'm promoting it now so if you don't know follow my instagram at groovy girl glow this is my business page for all crochet you can dm me for custom orders i'll also be having an etsy very soon so you can shop my items i basically make one of one items so you're not gonna see a repeat of anything but i'm giving away four different hats to two delicious winners so definitely apply because it's free i mean come on next thing i want to make are these really cute ruffle crochet socks i don't know how often i'd wear them but i just want to make them like i want to see if i can make them first just off the top of my head no pattern and two i want to see if i actually wear them because they're just so cute they remind me like the baby doll socks that were really popular in like middle school you'd wear the baby doll socks with your uniform shoes and it just looks super like old school and school girlish but i want to make some like some crochet ruffle socks that would be so cute oh this is so cute 
this is also like a cluster bag and i attempted to make this like cluster skirt let me show y'all because you may not know what i mean when i say cluster but a lot of things are made of cluster so this is the skirt that i actually frogged because it was way too big but the colors like the colors are so cute like come on come on this is cute so I really like this, but I have to frog it sadly because it's too big. And then I tried to recreate. Now this one's more like pastel. That's the vibes going for, but this one also too big. So I have to revise and like plan out a new pattern because I don't want to skirt this too big. But this is actually a bag that is the same like cluster. So if you don't know what cluster is, it's basically these little things. So it's like triple crochets. And I want to make that but in a bag form. And I think that would be so cute. Like I will rock that all the time in the summer. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Come on. Come on, dude. I want to make this flower beach bag, which is the same concept as a granny square bag. But it's a little different because you lay them out like kind of diagonal from each other and i've been wanting to make one of these for a long time because my friend layla her mom she crochets and she showed me a bag that she made and i fell in love with it i love the style the size and i was like this would be my everyday school bag but i have to like actually make the time because i have so many ideas for bags i want to make but i don't execute them because i get afraid and like intimidated by the amount of time i'm gonna have to invest into it but i figure if i do like tutorials for them it holds me accountable i know that if i film tutorials for certain projects it'll hold me accountable because i know that people are waiting on me and i need to actually like put it out there like i have to stop doubting myself and i have to put the freaking video out there so yeah i'm gonna do that yeah Ooh. okay this next project it looks kind of complicated i don't know what it would be called it looks like it's called a scrumble handbag but it basically just looks like really mystical and like trippy it's very hippie like definitely something a hippie would wear but it just looks so cool to me like there's so many different versions of it and i feel like there's no like actual pattern you just make random stuff and then you put them together and you just have this scrumble bag and i just think that's so dope like that's so up my alley because i have so many like unfinished granny squares unfinished projects and if i combine them together I'll just have a scumble bag and it'll be dope so i think i should do that okay next i want to do a baby doll top baby doll tops are so cute like i've been finding myself wearing more dainty tops like tops like these are super cute easy to make and easy to style as well but like a baby doll top i've actually made one before because i wore it in my everything i made in 2023 but like a baby doll top is so cute because it's just so baby doll it's so cute and i want to add like little bowls because you know the coquette trend yeah i want to add little bowls to it and that would just be so cute like i have to do that so i will be doing that so that's the end of today's video maybe i'll do one of these like every month and then i'll show you all what i've been working on because i really want to hold myself accountable i want to make more stuff and i want to like document my process of making things um if you're looking at this blanket i actually did not make this i don't know who made it but um i love it so whoever made it thank you girl i don't know who it is but thank you um i love it it just adds and i do want to make a blanket that's another thing i want to make a blanket i want to make my own little blanket i have a feeling like this is something my sister would definitely make but i don't think she made that no someone else maybe my granny i think my granny made this and gave it to me but nobody told me that that's who it was from but yeah um that's the end of today's video i have so much more crochet content coming from you all so subscribe if you're not if you're new baby come on to the team baby because this is a crochet channel forget what you saw in the past but this is a crochet channel okay so get ready because we're gonna get them hands working honey and i also want to learn how to knit because i got some knitting needles and i've never knit before so yeah so i'm excited for this journey and i hope you all enjoyed today's video um if you have any projects you want to learn or projects you're working on comment down below because i want this to be like a crochet community of beginners newbies uh people that have been doing it for years those that have been doing it for months i don't care i just want a community for those that crochet because i think we're the coolest people and i just feel like fellow crocheters all share like the same values and i just want a community for that so yeah if you crochet subscribe and follow me on instagram too because i will be having more content um, post it on there hopefully i'll be wearing more of my items because sometimes i get a little shy about wearing my stuff so we're not doing that this year so yeah 
I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.